Okay, when I say three. Ready? One, two, three. Hey guys, what you doing? Playing a game for big kids. Can I play? You can try, but you might be too little. Yeah, we're seeing who can jump up and hang from the monkey bar the longest. And you've got to be super strong. Or half orangutan. Are you part orangutan? I don't think so. But I can pick you up. <laughs> Easy, peasy, Kobe, squeezy. Well, okay, but don't blame me if your arms fall off. I won't. Okay, ready? One, two, three! You're right, this is hard. Guys, snack time! Yay! <laughs> Maybe she is half orangutan. What's for snack, Sophie? Jelly. Is that all? Yeah, she found it in the sandbox. Like treasure. Wait! Hey! You can't eat that. Why not? We don't know where it's been. Sure we do. In the sandbox. But it's all dirty. And there's nothing to spread it on. We've got our fingers. And our tongues. Yeah, that's yucky. But it's all we've got for our picnic. Picnic? Why didn't you say so? I love picnics. What a perfectly picnicky idea. But not here. Let's go out into the country. I love the countryside. Let's go! Me too! Yeah! I think I know just the spot. Come on, you two! We're gonna stay and, um, keep an eye on the jelly. <laughs> You can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song I could most definitely eat here. Just smell all that countryness. Ah. Well, I guess it's okay. What do you mean, okay? It's beautiful! Look at all the pretty flowers! Well, they're pretty, but they're sort of yucky, too. They're not in lines, or rows, or anything. But look at all the butterflies. They're so colorful. They're all right, I guess. There's just not very many of them, are there? Okay, if you don't like it here, we can find someplace else. There must be zillions of nice places around here. Just what I was thinking. Look, rainbow sheep. They're so pretty. Let's eat. I'm hungry as a wolf. <laughs> oh, Fooey. What's the matter, Emma? My dress. It's all muddy. Where? I can't see anything. Here. Oh, it's ruined. That? It's just a little speck. But what about the grass? Um, what about the grass? Don't you think it's a bit too... Pointy. Too pointy? How can grass be too pointy? <laughs> ah. Careful, Eddie. Oh, 
with all the mud and pointy grass. It's just too yucky here. Hmm, this place isn't good enough either? Do you want us to find another picnic spot instead? Good thinking, Soapy. Come on! <sighs> <gasps> <gasps> Well, okay. Let's try it. Really? Sure, I'm not picky. Let's see. Here will be just fine. Perfect. Well, almost. I'm starving. Let's eat. Hmm. Listen. Isn't it sweet? Oh, it is sweet. It could just be sweeter, that's all. You're a little off key, little bird. Good luck, little bird! <gasps> what is it, Eddie? Um, the blanket. Wouldn't it be even more perfect over there? You know, you're right. Guys, look! <gasps> oh no! Ew, it's so slimy and slippery. If Emma sees that snail, she'll never want to have a picnic. You're right. And I'm going to eat my shirt if we have to move again. Well, what are we going to do? I'm not touching it. I know. Just keep Emma distracted. What are you going to do, Eddie? Leave it to me. The blanket's a little bumpy. We'll help. Sorry. This picnic is by invitation only. Might be better. Just over. No! Mm hmm. Actually, you're right. Ugh. What's the matter, Sophie? Oh, just a flower. It blew into your hair. Oh, really? No! no! I'll get it. Can I see it? Um, well... Oh, it must have blown away. Never mind. I think we're just about ready to eat. <gasps> A snail! I just love snails. You do? Of course. They're so cute. They are? Sure. Look at their little shell houses. They're perfect little campers. My gosh! We've been trying to hide it. We thought you might think that it's all slimy and yucky. Yucky? But I love the trails that they leave. So shiny and sparkly. Now, Miss Snail, you can sit next to me as our guest of honor. Can I have a sandwich now? <laughs> of course! <laughs> Silly. Finally! Um. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, good. Wow, much better. Oh, Jack, not again. But there's still some in the bottom. I can't get any jelly for me now. Eddie, can you help pull it off? I could try, but Mia's way stronger. She is? Yeah, I'm half orangutan. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. And I'm welcome to this last little bit of jelly. If I can just get this last itty bitty... Oh, rats. 
Save the yard from creatures from outer space. Looks like we need to save the yard from Super Eddie. It's not that messy. Ugh. Whoa! Who left that there? You did. Okay. I'll help clean up the yard. I just need to do one thing first. What's that? Go on an adventure to the jungle. Hey, everyone, who wants to come to the jungle with me? Yeah, sure. Cool, let's go. Nah, I think I'll stay here. Me too. What? It's going to be fun. Okay, I'll come along, but we still have to clean up later. No problem, I promise. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Isn't that one of the Queen's royal guards? Mm. Uh. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm in a terrible hurry. I need to roll this egg all the way to the stone throne. Why can't you just carry your egg? Running, I can do. Carrying <laughs> is a little trickier. Oh, if only there was some young, brave group of egg movers who I could enlist to help me. We're brave. We'll be your egg movers. Oh, will you? Will, will we? we? Sure. How hard can it be? Oh, I'd be so grateful. You will take care of it, won't you? It's extremely delicate and fragile. It's an egg, after all. Don't worry. Soap Reddy's on the case. I promise we'll take special care of it. Oh, thank you. How far is the stone throne? Um, quite far. How far? Do you see the tallest tree in the distance? And the hill behind it? Well, it's just beyond that. Oh, and did I mention the rocky path and all the fallen down trees? Mm -hmm. Must run. Farewell, little one. Don't hatch without me. I know what we need. will get us to the stone throne. All aboard the Egg Mover Express. Let's go nice and slow. Eddie, slow down. There's an egg back there, remember? Relax. Super Eddie is always ready. I know what I'm doing. <gasps> End of the road. I don't got it. Super Eddie to the rescue! Eddie! Woo! Last one to the bottom is a rotten. Oh no. What in the name of dribbling dewdrops is going on here? Try this, monkeys. 
with the egg. Remember? Relax. They're only monkeys. What could go wrong? <laughs> you see? Whew. Now come on, Eddie. Let's get... Eddie! We're just playing catch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Follow that egg. <laughs> here somewhere. I found it! All right! Yay, Tessa! I'll take it. No, no way. way! What do you mean? I got the egg this far. Yeah, and you almost broke it, too. From now on, we'll all take care of the egg together. You're right. I guess I got a little carried away. I'll try to be more careful. I promise. Huh? We better get moving. This egg sounds ready to hatch. But how are we gonna get it there in time without breaking it? I know how. But we're gonna need some branches and lots of leaves. Here's one that might work. Baby ostriches sure look funny. <laughs> That's not a baby ostrich. You think it's a dinosaur? I think it's a big green chicken. I say it's an alligator. My, my. You have such good imaginations. Presenting Her Majesty, the Queen. Your Majesty. Mama, Mama. My little hatchling. You made it safe and sound. You mean this was your egg? Of course. These trusty egg movers transported your egg for me. They kept their promise exquisitely, ma'am. I am very grateful. Soup ready saves the day again! Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, Soup ready couldn't have done it without its friends. They helped me keep my promise. Well, in that case, you're all invited to join me for some refreshments to celebrate the arrival of my little hatchling. Yay! <sighs> a nice cold drink. Just what I needed after a long hike through the jungle. Eddie? I think he's thirsty, Eddie. Eddie? Eddie? Here you go, little guy. Looks like Eddie's made a new friend. Eddie? <laughs> <sighs> Just look at this place. Don't worry, Sophie. This time, I'll clean up. Super Eddie always keeps his promises. You're keeping 
your promise and that's really great. But why don't you slow down and then we can all help? Um, sure. I'll go tortoise speed. <laughs> <laughs> What a pretty town! I think I'll go for a visit. Welcome to your new neighborhood, Lucky. You're gonna love Littleville. It's the best place to live. <sighs> or take a nap. Good day, Sophie. Good day to you, Mia. Taking Mr. Papa for a stroll, I see. Yes, and he's been very well behaved. Hello, ladies of Littleville. What are you doing on this fine day, Eddie? I was just about to make a mud pie. Did someone say pie? Mmm, I love pie. See, Lucky, Littleville's the nicest, friendliest little town in the entire world. Beep, beep. I'm just coming home after a hard day at work. Hessa, follow the directions. The road goes around Littleville, not through it. No problem. I'm driving Tessa style. <laughs> Look out! stuff to jump over and crawl through. Yes, a jungle obstacle course. We'll have a race. And I'll win. Let's go! We'll fix Littleville later. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. But first we sing this song We sing this song 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 Hey, hey, we bought an adventure Guys, welcome to the official jungle obstacle course. You've all chosen your teammates. Hmm? Yay! We've got our team. All right. <laughs> oh, teammate, great idea. Got any dinosaurs? Let me check. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm Emmett, and I'm winning today. Whoa. Hey, Emmett. I'm Eddie, and I'm ready to win. Want to be my teammate? Deal. Yes! Ahem. <clears throat> Attention, racers. Oh, yeah. All eyes here. Listen carefully. Everyone has to follow the arrows. Give me five. All right. Follow the arrows. We're so gonna win this. Oh, yeah. Follow the... Hey, Daddy. Arrows. That's not fair. You got a head start. Let the official jungle obstacle course race begin. 
This way. Here we go. Gonna win this. Time, follow me. No, follow me. I said follow me. <sighs> this is fun. <laughs> Come on, guys, this way. Here's a red arrow. They're going to win. We need a shortcut. That way, through the log. <laughs> Eddie, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get me out of here! Mm. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Whoa! Do that again! And put more elephant into it! Win? No, no, no. That's the finish line over there. And this is the starting line. You mean we're right back where we started? Precisely. Maybe next time you'll follow the arrows. Hmm? Huh? Come on, Emmett. Let's start over and try again. And this time, follow the arrows. Yeah, if we'd followed the arrows the first time, we would have won for sure. True, true, so very true. And for that reason, I present you both an award for most improved team. Congratulations. Everyone, just follow my directions. Eddie, you put your box over there. Mia, that box goes on top of Kobe's. Tessa, now put your box on top. Just a little that way. 
That's perfect! Our little bill house looks even better than before! Hey, I bet it'll look even better if we knock it down one more time and build it all over again! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who turned off the light? <laughs> What do you think? How about this, Mia? It's Mia's Fairy Tale Theater presents The Boy Who Cried Wolf, not The Pirate Who Cried Wolf. How about The Boy Who Cried Super Eddie? Save my fat monkey? Boy Who Cried Wolf. That ferocious dragon's about to eat up all those poor, innocent animals. <laughs> they can only be saved by Joking Jack the Dragon huh? Jester. Jack, what are you doing? I'm here to help you, Super Eddie. Hey, Dragon, what did the egg say about the fork? <laughs> Beats me. Get it? Because you beat an egg with a fork? <laughs> Dragons are defenseless against a good joke. Joking Jack uses his super funny powers to make the monster laugh and saves the day. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling. Wait. What's that? A super emergency? What? What is it? A very special Super Eddie adventure! Great! I'll come with you! Sorry! Only one superhero at a time! Sophie! Kobe! I need some music for my Super Eddie adventure! Mia, we'll be right back! How about this hat? No! <laughs> got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. There's always trouble brewing somewhere. But where? Whoa, 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 whoa. Aha! Uh -huh. There! Look out! Pizza delivery guy coming through. Hot pizza! Never fear! It's Super Eddie to the rescue! I got it! I got it! I. Look out! Uh -huh. Right? It's the old collapsing pizza boxes gag. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, one and all. I'm Funny Bone in the Funny Zone. All right. <laughs> Anybody here need saving? Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Funny no. Bone. Okay, I'll just be, you know, flying around, protecting you all from disasters and stuff. That sounds like trouble. And trouble means it's time for Super Eddie to the rescue. Super Eddie, glad you could make it, pal. You like my big balloon? This guy's not scary. He just wants to dance. Come on! <laughs> All you have to do is wave your arms around and look like this guy. <laughs> funny bone in the funny zone. 
So, anyone need some superhero help? Save your cat? Carry your groceries home? No? Well, I guess I'll just be, um, on my way. Funny Bone! Funny Bone! What's so great about him? I'm the superhero. Hello! Hello there! Lovely day! It's Prince Piggington! He can't drive that tractor. He'll crash! And he's heading right for the farm! Royal greetings, all! <laughs> 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 Sorry, everybody. Super Ready is here to... Stop that tractor. Hello there. Ha! The old remote control tractor gag. A classic, am I right? Classic? Oh, yes. Funny bone in the funny zone. <laughs> <laughs> Guess they want a super clown, not a superhero. <laughs> not a problem, folks. That's what the stop button's for. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Oh, right. Like, I'm going to help him. Help! Except, real heroes don't do what they want to do. They do what they should do. <laughs> now this definitely looks like a job for Super Ready! This was supposed to be a super ready adventure. How did you? I followed you here. I was just trying to make you laugh. That's my superpower. I thought you'd like my jokes, and then you'd like me and want me to be your partner. But I guess I messed up. It was pretty funny. The pizza boxes. Right? Super funny. And that crazy dancing guy in Prince Piggington and the tractor. So, we can be partners? Well, Super Yeti and a sidekick Funny Bone could work. Wait a minute, why shouldn't you be my sidekick? Um, cause I'm the one who can fly? I can make everyone laugh. I can lift tractors. Oh, like that's so special. It's time like for Mia, 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 Story of the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there was a shepherd boy. But <laughs> the shepherd boy wanted people to notice him. So he cried, Wolf! Wolf! His neighbor came running. Wait, I don't see any wolf. Me neither. Wanna play? Uh. And he did it again. Wolf! Wolf! There isn't any wolf! I know. Wanna play? Nah, not right now. But then, a real wolf came along. Arr, wolfy, wolfiness! Wolf! But no one believed the shepherd boy because he cried wolf before and... Where you been, Wolfie? I've been calling ya and calling ya. Wanna play? Play? No! You're supposed to be scared of the wolf. Why? We're friends. And you're supposed to scare 
the shepherd boy. I don't want to scare him. I want to make him laugh because we're friends. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. Watch out! <laughs> oh, no! Don't eat me. We're friends. <laughs> <sighs> and so the shepherd boy and the wolf laughed and played, and no one was scared. And I have no idea why I just told you this story. The end. <laughs> you said it. Yeah. That is the smallest apple ever. But it won't come down. I'm tired of waiting. Just uh getting warmed up. Boy, boy, boy! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah, Big Apple Island. Great, let's go. All right. Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew! Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa, let's go! Worms, yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we brought an adventure. Quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! Stop! Don't touch those apples! You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh. But he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall to keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's, it's the, the angry, angry apple. apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah, apples aren't angry, they're yummy. Except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, 
Okay, but you'll regret it. <gasps> but what if there is an angry apple? And there's a giant worm inside making it angry. And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> Oh, really? We'll see. <gasps> Whoa. Wow! Cool! Cool! Wow. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <clears throat> but do not touch them. huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. Thank goodness. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Hi! Yeah! I'm free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief! Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up! There was no Angry Apple! Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See, no angry apple. no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now, another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry. Super Ready is Super Ready. Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up. Where is 
is this beast? Uh, under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. Nibbles, I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> will turn this bunny into an elephant right before your very eyes. Please welcome my assistants, Mia and Tessa. We are a robot alien from outer space. Why are you wearing that costume? We thought it would make the trick even more amazing, Earth magician. Uh, okay. Well, assistant, robot, alien from space, help me hold this, please. Abracadabra, Abracadelephant, turn this bunny into an elephant. Wow, that was amazing. I mean, that was amazing. Wow, that was so great! Woohoo! Awesome trick, Kobe. I don't know. I'm still learning. But someday, I'm going to do really great tricks for a big audience. Why wait? Kobe, you can do your big magic show now. Yeah, how about in the jungle? The animals will love your tricks. Um, okay. We're off to the jungle. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. is this? Hey, hi. Welcome to Gerald's Jungle Joint. I am Gerald. Hi, hi Gerald. Gerald. Nice to meet you. Bet you put on some cool shows here. You betcha. We do the coolest magic shows in the jungle. This is the amazing Kobe, and he's the coolest magician we know. Maybe Kobe could put on a big magic show in your club. Absolutely. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, amazing Kobe. Give me some skin. We'll go tell all the animals about your show, Kobe. Then these will come in handy. Whoa! Whoa look at that. That's so cool. So. Let's talk magic. Okay. Check this out. As you see, this log is empty. Nothing inside this log. Cool. Whoa. <gasps> I hold in my hand, fresh from the tree, a coconut, or is it? Wow, you are the best. 
No, no. Tell me about your tricks. Well, I kind of turned this little, uh, rabbit into an elephant. No! I bet they love it when you turn a little rabbit into a giant elephant. Well, they did stand up and applaud and cheer and stuff. A standing ovation! I like you, Kobio. You do? Tell me about your other tricks. Uh, okay. Did you ever hear of the robot alien from space trick? No, but I love aliens. Well, I made this robot alien appear from space, and it has two heads. Come see the amazing Kobe! Magic show at Gerald's Jungle Joint. Come one, come all. One show only. And that's when I make the alien from outer space fly over the audience and way up into the sky. Spectacular, Obi Obiolio. So, are you gonna do that trick today? Oh, well, Gerald, Gerald, Dio. I don't know if. I mean, it's your club. Maybe you should. This is your show. They'll love you. Kobe, we got a really big audience. They're waiting for the show to start. Already? This is going to be great. Kobe was telling me all about his amazing tricks, like... <coughs> Something stuck in my throat. Like turning a little bunny into a huge elephant. He did? That's not what I... <laughs> this guy. What a magician. Turns two of you into an alien and makes you fly. I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Um, maybe you guys should, uh, go get your seats? Okay, sure. Good luck, Kobe. I want to see this. Well, kobe it's showtime. Uh, Kobe? You okay? Gerald, there's something I have to tell you. I can't turn a real rabbit into a huge elephant, and I didn't turn my friends into an alien, and I didn't make anyone fly. I just told you that stuff because you're a great magician, and I wanted you to like me. Kobe, Kobe Obio, you didn't have to make all that up. I like you fine. But I'm not a great magician. Not yet, anyway. But you're a great guy. And by being honest with me, you performed the greatest magic of all. You turned a stranger into a friend. You better get out there. But I don't think I can. I'm not that good. I'm just... You're just learning, and that's fine. Tell you what, Kobe. Why don't we put on a magic show together? We? Us? Really? <laughs> and now, Gerald's Jungle Joint presents the amazing Kobe and his handsome assistant, Gerald.
yourself and you'll be fine We can have a real good time And I will guarantee that I'll be me Yes, I'll be me to wait for the ground to get dry. Or come up with a new trick called Stuck in the Mud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know. We can go somewhere without all this mud. But where? Skating through the jungle would be cool. Jungle skating would be so cool. I can show you my trick there. We've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. come from? Are they unicorn trails? Fairy dust? magic -y twinkle wishes? Uh, no. Whoa. It's when beams of sunlight shine through drops of rain. Same thing. Hey, guys, watch me! Uh, uh, pump those arms! Pump those... Uh, Tessa. What? You're not going anywhere. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's too muddy here, too. But my trick is really cool. You know where it isn't muddy? Where? Up on the rainbow. I bet it's smooth and shiny. Perfect for skating. The rainbow. Great idea, Mia. And my trick will be even better up there. But how do we get there? It'll take forever skating through the mud. We gotta go quick. Unicorn fairy twinkle dreams don't last very long. What about the jungle bus? It should be due just about... <laughs> now, to the rainbow! Come on, come on, come on! Whoa, whoa, yikes! Colby, come on! I'm trying! Try harder! Stop the bus! What? No! Look! The 
Queen of Jungle Land. Whoa! What's the matter with her? She's fine. I don't think she is. We should try and help her. Uh, okay. But we've got to be quick. Help! Don't worry. It's ready, Eddie, to the rescue. on my way to the rainbow and somehow got in a bit of a spin. That's where we're heading. Whoa. Want a ride? That would be wonderful. Okay, let's move it, people. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Come oh. on, come on, come. Whoa. Kobe! Let's go. <gasps> Not as good as my trick. But he needs help. He needs a helmet, like mine. Okay. But make it fast. Oh, oopsie daisy. Leave it to Steady Eddie. No? We'll do it together. Whoa! Okay? I think so. I was on my way to the rainbow and everything went dark. Hey, we're going there. Want a ride? Ah, yeah. Thank you. Hurry up, we're going to miss it. Ugh. Kobe! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Trees! <laughs> but... Ugh. <sighs> We're never going to get there. What in the name of Prancing Poodles is going on? <laughs> How are we supposed to get those elephants down? Hey, I know. If we park the bus under the branch, they can climb down onto it. Great idea. Thank you. Good thinking, Sophie. And while you do that, I'll go catch the rainbow. So at least somebody gets a chance to skate on it. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. Those arms. <sighs> what happened, Tessa? Where's the rainbow? We spent so much time helping, we missed all the fun. What fun did you miss? The rainbow. It's disappeared. Rainbows? Well, they're our specialty. They are? Sure. Here. <laughs> More fun than skating alone. On or off a rainbow. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow! This is cool! <laughs> what you doing? Trying to seesaw, but it's stuck. How about now? Wee! <laughs> Rats! Oh, here. Now I'm stuck. Ready, Yeti, to the rescue! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look, everyone! Whoa, the rainbow! Wow, it's back! Oh, it's so pretty. Let's go back and skate some more! Grab your skates! Hooray! It's all tied up at the kickball cup! And the crowd's going wild! A hush falls over the backyard as Ace Pitcher Kobe winds up and... Whoa! Oh no! My peanut jelly and butter sandwiches! We're gonna need a bigger field. And I need some more lunch. Yay! Every team they want to pick her because she's such an awesome kicker. We really do need a bigger place to play. Somewhere I can blast one for miles. Mia might need some tougher competition, too. I know. We can play against the three little pigs. They have the best team in all fairy tale land. Great idea. Don't worry, Eddie. We'll bring a picnic. Can we have your famous peanut jelly and butter sandwiches? Sure. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Wait up! Look, everyone! Whoa! Wow! Oh, yeah! This is the perfect spot. Let's set everything up so we can have a picnic right after our game. Yeah, we're gonna be hungry. I'll help Sophie make the sandwiches. We'll set up the chairs. That just leaves the umbrella for some shade. Mia, can you set up the umbrella? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's not an umbrella. Oh, well, the umbrella's easy. I just gotta practice the Mega Mia kick before the three little pigs get here. <laughs> Done. 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 Steady Yeti is ready for kickball. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Just need to set up the bases. And get in a little practice. But the umbrella still has to be set up. Those sandwiches will get all melty in the sun. Mia. Oh, right. Umbrella. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> Don't start without me. Majesty. I was hoping you'd ask. Would you set up the picnic umbrella on the table so I can go... Do princess things. Like play kickball? Your wish is our command, Your Highness. We love setting up picnic umbrellas. Picnic umbrellas are our favorite. Um, just one question. What's a picnic umbrella? This. 
Um, and what exactly do we do with it? It's easy. You'll figure it out. Thanks. Gotta run. Oh, oh. oh, check me for cracks. Oh, you're okay. What's with the outfit? Oh, I always play in this. You got the umbrella set up okay? Taken care of. Oh, here comes the three little pigs. <laughs> Two big cousins! Let's play kickball! Princess! Uh, I forgot something. Be right back! Hang on! <laughs> it's gobbling me up! Umbrellas don't gobble. Here. Ah. <sighs> Still in one piece. Those things are dangerous. It's just an umbrella. All you have to do is open it and put it in the middle of the table. So, bye. Oops. Whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa. Oh, oh, I'm getting gobbled again. <laughs> rats, rats, rats. Uh. They started with me. Whoa! Whoa! Humpty! Grab it! Uh, got it, your majesty! Whoa! More like it's got you! Grab him! Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, a million rats! Hey, Mia! What have you been doing? Yeah, we missed you for the game. Well, I... Um... <laughs> and where's the, um... Umbrella. <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it! The umbrella's over the table! My lunch! Oh, I feel all scrambled up. Uh, I, um, I just asked him for some help. Well, actually, I asked him to do it for me. Didn't quite work out, huh? No, I'm sorry. I should have just done it myself. But I wanted to play kickball so much. <sighs> now they've ruined everything. Okay, I've ruined everything. Well, maybe we can unruin everything. Yeah, we're a team after all. Really? Thanks, guys. Got it, Your Majesty. No! I mean, thanks, but I can do this myself. Like I promised I would. Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! How does she do it? Come on, let's all eat. I can't believe I missed the game. <gasps> Did you win? We lost. Pretty bad. Yeah, those pigs mean business. But after lunch, we're having a rematch. And we could really use Mia and her mega kick. All right! <laughs> Show us how to make a pyramid. Okay. The secret of making a pyramid is everyone, every one of us, has to do their part. Ready? Uh huh. Yes. Ready? Yep. Yeah. So Eddie, Sophie, and I will be on the bottom. Mia and Tessa can be on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Mr. Bunny. Wow, we did it! Yes, we did. 
We just have to keep it nice and tight, all together. Go away! Shuby, get out of here! Whoa! Careful! Kobe, don't! No! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the first ever backyard egg extravaganza. Team one, Eddie and Mia. Yes. Team two, Tessa and Kobe. Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins. Let's go, Sophie. This egg wants to get rolling. Eggs ready. Egg set. Come on, Eddie. Oh, yeah! Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. But Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them. Come on, toss it! Toss it! Tessa's ahead by nose. This is so exciting! <laughs> Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! You can do it! <clears throat> and it's exactly a tie! A tie? Aw, oh, come on! What good's a race without a winner? Rematch! But with race cars! <laughs> race cars! Yes! We can race on a big track! I'm in. Let's go. Yeah. I can't wait to race. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. to the really rather royal road race. Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting. Dad. Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace. Where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. Polite cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra ra ra! There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go, Eddie! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. Oh. Are you sure, Ace? A oh. zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me. Think of me as your good luck job. Quick, take this dirt road here. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> Eddie rounds a curve like a pro! No one can catch up to him!
good luck charm. What are you doing? Helping you win, champ. Nobody can drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great. Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best. But cheating is the worst. Whoa! What are you doing? The right thing. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Sophie, look out! Bananas! Thanks, Eddie. Hey, wait, you look like a winner. I could be your good luck charm. Oh. I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks. Mm. There you go, Tessa. Thanks. I, King Pigalot, pronounce you, Sophie, the winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Yay! Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me, too. And me. That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he is the real winner. Here you go, Eddie. Hooray! Yay! Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's time for me. That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise will be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> But then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! You know, bunny, we're having so much fun, why don't we cross the finish line together too? Great idea! No, it's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> The end. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together.